everyone. My name is Elisa Sharon Gustin and my partner is Angelita Juhisibin. We are students of Diploma Bakery and Pastry Program from Keningau Vocational College, Sabah, Malaysia. We will be presenting our project which was about producing flour from tarap seeds. Tarap also known as Artocarpus odoratissimus was our main ingredient. It is also commonly called marang, madang, timadang, terap, pedalai hijau, or johe oa. Tarap fruits grow in Borneo, Palawan, and Mindanao Island, and they are closely related to jackfruit, cempedak, and breadfruit trees. These fruits are all seasonal. Tarap fruits are widely available at the beginning of the rainy season in a year, from August to January, depending on the location of the tree. You might wonder why we decide to use tarap seeds to produce a different variant of flow. According to Juma Ing 2013, tarap seeds have never been fully utilized by people who live in places where this plant grow abundantly. Many people just throw away the tarap fruits or let them root. This motivated us to find more ways on how we can use tarap instead of wasting our natural resources. We had three objectives in this project. The first one was to create flow based on tarap seeds and this was followed by our second objective which was to identify the appropriate procedure and techniques to produce flow based on tarap seeds. And our third and final objective was to find out the level of suitability of tarap seeds flour as an ingredient in producing pastries, especially in taste, texture, aroma, and the color. The flour was made from tarap seeds. We wanted to know whether this flour was suitable to be used in making pastries, cake, and cookies. These seeds can actually be made into three types of ingredients, which are flour, powder, and crumbs. We have experimented the flour with several types of food products. We successfully use it in producing cookies, namely macaroon and shortbread. These cookies were made using the flour. Hello, my name is Angelita. So today I will explain how we made the flour. So this is how we made the flour. Firstly, we wash the seed with clean water until dirt and dust around the seeds are completely gone. After that, we put the seeds into a blender and ground them into a small pieces. We then put these small pieces on baking tray and put the tray into the oven for a few minutes. After that, we once again ground the seeds until the seeds turn into fine dark powder. Then we sifted it into a large bowl a few times. According to Jumai in 2013, the locals do not take advantage of the availability of tarps. Tarp. They either just throw these fruits away or let them rot. In Malaysia, there has been limited development in, on any innovation related to raw materials and natural resources and we believe that tarap is one of our abundant resources. According to Fama 2014, a research was once conducted to use tarap and their seeds as ingredients in making food products and turning the seeds into flour appeared to be a viable possibility. We use quantitative methods to obtain feedback from our respondent where they were required to answer questionnaire. We use experimental research methods to determine the techniques and procedures in making flour as well as product that could be produced use tarap seed flour. We distributed feedback form to 20 villagers from Kampung Kepanyan Renau and Kampung Malapi Telupid, Sabah, Malaysia. The majority of the respondents gave excellent and positive feedback. 
and the cookies that were made from the flour. They appeared to like the taste, or texture, aroma, and color of the cookies which they thought to be slightly unique and this could be attributed to the different type of flour that was used to make them. Some respondents also said that the cookies were delicious and this might indicate that there is a potential for the flour to be marketed. They also gave their suggestion on how to improve the product, particularly its taste and color. This might also help people become more aware of the health benefits of tarap seeds. We can conclude that there is a potential for the organic waste, such as fruit seeds, to be used in food preparation and production, as exemplified by our flour. This research also sheds some lights on how we could devise a better procedure in making the flour. Overall, this research shows that common organic waste like fruit seeds could be used optimally which would help to reduce inadvertent wastage of natural resources. As you can see in this slide, this is a picture of Tarapsis flour that we produce. We hope that our presentation today can offer the audience some takeaways, especially on how we can all together use our natural resources in the most optimal manner. That's all from us and thank you.